flip right side up. Um, then we have our ring compressor over here. This is a wide scope ring compressor. Now, I like the wide scope ring compressors. It's a tapered sleeve. Um, as you can see on top here, it's thin. So you're going to put your piston in for the top. And then on the bottom here, it's a little bit thicker and it's going to compress the rings to exactly 87.5 millimeters. Drop right in the cylinder. There's one thing I do like about that. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to bring our crank to top dead center on one and four. We're going to take our number one piston. We're going to get some assembly lube. Put it down the bearings. Not a whole lot, remember. Just goop it on there. Okay. And I almost forgot. Thank God I did not forget. You want to oil your bearings. Or oil your bearings. You want to bearing you want to oil your cylinder walls. So I just take my brush and I do one of them guys. And let the oil run down the cylinders. Take my hand and I do one of these, make sure they're nice and oiled. Nice and oily, nice and smooth, everything's gonna slide together. And then I oil my my compressor. Okay. We have our number four piston. So we're gonna put our intake valves release towards the front of the engine. Put the piston in like this and then it slides over let me see if I can show this it slides over and slides up and you want to push it in just so it's below the edge and you can see the skirt to line you up so drop it in the bore get the skirt all lined up try and be as square as possible all right so we moved the crank it's not gonna work that way we put number two and three on the top of the TDC. Then we're gonna put cylinder four and one in one. Uh, two and three in our TDC, so we have a little bit more room to work with. Drop that guy in there and give her a nice push. So slide right in. Slide all the way down. Go right onto the crank. I'll show you the other side of the crank in a second here. Take care of cylinder number one real quick. So now we got one and four and we're going to flip the engine the back way, back over, put the caps out. Alright, one didn't make it all the way. So we're going to adjust him real quick, pull him up onto the crank. Okay. And as you can see, let's see if we can tell here, this bearing came up a little bit on this side and down a little bit on that side if you can see. So we're just, you just push the bearing without turning the crank. You push the bearing with your fingernail or something, a little flat screwdriver. Make sure they're even. I'm gonna do it again on cylinder one. Oh, and then you, you can't. Put your assembly lube on the cap for number four here. the writing up. So what we're going to do now is all we're going to do is just take our bolts and make them hand tight in there. So we're going to tighten down just finger tight just so you can rotate the motor over so you can torque them all at the same time. Um, just finger tight will be fine. Just make sure the rod and the cap, the sleeves compress Evenly bring it 
down. So take both sides and down together. You know, and I'm not just just boop, just tight enough. Okay? The other side. One. filled up so rods are in caps are on now we're going to put our mainly torque lube on our bolts looks exactly like ARP lube I don't know if it's any different probably isn't but I use the mainly stuff on the mainly bolts a little bit on there put it in put it into hoe And they say 50 to 60 foot pounds. We're going to go to 60 just because we like to be safe, I guess. There's no real reason why. I'm still within range. So I put the lube on there and tighten them down by fingers. Da, 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 da. Um, now I get to show you bolt stretch. I already did it. Um, we're not going to go over that. Uh, maybe in another video. Um, I did the bolt stretch. Not on camera. But anyways. So you want to do kind of opposite of what the motor's going to want to do to turn while you tighten. Thirty. 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 Then we're going to turn it Because then the valves are depressed, but we'll get to that in the next video. 
So thanks for watching this one, and we will take it up next time when I put the head on. All right, have a good one, guys.